Humans are naturally sinful, and the duty of the Muslim, if he falls into a mistake, hasten to repentance and seek forgiveness. Allah the Almighty is pleased in the repentance of his servant when he repents to him. It is mentioned in the hadith, Allah is more pleased with the repentance of his servant than one of you gets up and he finds his camel missing in a waterless desert and he then accidentally finds it. The Muslim should be aware of the sins when he is alone. Allah the Almighty has sincered those who hide their sin from among the people and do not hide it from Allah. Allah the Almighty said, they conceal their even, evil intentions and deeds from the people, but they cannot conceal them from Allah, and He is with them in His knowledge when they spend the night in such what is displeasing to Him of speech, and Allah is fully aware of what they do. The Prophet, may Allah bless him and grant him peace, warned of the sins when being alone, he said, I certainly know people of my nation who will come on the day of resurrection with good deeds like the mountains of Tihama, but Allah will make them like scattered dust. Thawban said, O Messenger of Allah, describe them to us and tell us more so that we will not become of them unknowingly. He said, they are your brothers and from your race, worshipping at night as you do so. But they will be people who, when they are alone, transgress the sacred limits of Allah. A Muslim gets rid of the sins when he is alone by turning to Allah in supplication to divert him from sins and disobedience, struggle with himself and push away the whispers that come from shaitan and try to purify himself with the obedience of Allah. Avoid isolation as much as possible and should mix with the righteous and good people. Should feel that Allah sees us wherever we are and he is aware of us in every case. A Muslim should imagine those who he respects looking at him while he does that sin. Therefore, he will feel shyness from Allah more than his shyness from the people. It is mentioned in the hadith, be modest before Allah as you are modest of a man from your family. Remember death, if it had come to him while he was in a state of disobedience and sin, how does he meet his Lord when he is in that state? Remember that Allah has prepared for his pious servants and what he has promised the disobedient and the sinners. There is a saying that says that if you are alone for eternity one day, do not say that you are alone, but say, I have a watcher over me. And do not think that Allah forgets for a moment and nothing is hidden from him.